Welcome back to the exciting game of Who Just Farted. Welcome back to where the hell am I? Did we leave off? Uh, welcome back to where am I now? Uh, we're here with your host, Shallow the Aluminum Gamer, and with his channel, Shallow the Frenny. You're watching another wonderful episode of Gaming with Shallow. On the Pixel Cheesecake channel with special guests Rex Dubois, back from the dead. We're gonna be titling this these uh, episodes and here to be psychologically tortured some now more. Now with thirty percent better at voice acting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even ask for that. That just kind of asked to. Since. Can I get an uh, objection? Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a tank place as this. You don't have to get sofas. You can look at the TV, can't you? Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> it's really quite. Moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you did. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something that's, I wanted to ask. That's what being asked, being said by Phoenix White. Oh. Well, Take no, not button. really. There's something I wanted to ask. Uh, that's just Alucard. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh... I'll take Phoenix, love. Okay. <laughs> no, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough to questioning you, spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? About that man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose! Hmm. Even if I had something to get her to talk. Let's see. Money makes the world go round. Capitalism, boy. I haven't played this game at all, can you tell? <laughs> nah. Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Why did you place a wiretap on my phone? Mia. Mia's phone. Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. I get it from my mother. Say. She gets a lot from her mother. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. She looks like cotton candy. That's Mental illness isn't anything to laugh at, it's personal. Hey, hey, hey store your mental illness. <laughs> hey, give that back. I got that for my mom. <laughs> oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. Bottom? How does he? How does she know? 
You're just loving it. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. I'm just going to. You know how they say there's a low hanging fruit? I'm just going to pick the ones that have completely fallen on the ground. People want to ship the two lawyers, and I want to harp on it as much as possible. Yeah, free advertisement is free advertisement. I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers, or just against me? Uh, uh. so I would... Um, I don't know. Maybe press this. Hey, guess what? Yeah. It's oh. just repeating dialogue. She says, hey, guess what? Um, you know, it's not going to be anything important. Oh, the, the other thing. The golden thing. That's just my, my police badge. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing. Hey, guess what? God, God damn it. Okay, we thoroughly wrote... Now we thoroughly wrote everything against him. I don't like repeating myself. Shut up, bubblegum slap! September 7th, Bay & Co. Law, Law Offices. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there's any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Just look into the cart, into the pantry. Hey, go to store beef jerky. Well, really, it's just flavor text over here. I don't think Rex has seen any of the flavor text. Maya's favorite potted plant. Long sister. Me. Mia. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Yeah, it's Mia, not Maya. The sky is blue, and so am I. Same blue sky in a strange new world. There's the hotel right across the way. I hope you're referring to your blue suit. Same hotel in the strange new world. Same puppy dog in a strange new world. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie made Mia, that made Mia cry when she saw it. Uh, it was the Titanic! I'll have to check it out one of these days. Trust me, you don't want to. Wherever you are. And I know that my heart that my will heart go will on. Go on. Oh, look, it's Mia's desk. And look, we just lost all our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I made it perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Mia said my aunt. You can cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on are, are filed here. I'm pretty good at squeezing things in. Hmm. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm just imagining things. You would think that'd be something important though, right? It'll come up later. Huh. Looks like Grossberg's out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. What's this? Old photos? 
There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL-6 Incident Exhibit A, DL-6 Incident Slash Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Okay, so we actually needed the, uh, the second one. Hmm. Wait a second. Was there a giant painting hanging on this wall? Yeah, yeah, it's a painting of... Uh, uh, Fisherman? Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting anyhow. Now we go back to the detention center. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, I'm... The only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Now we love this photo on her. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Uh? Where did you... Ha! Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I am so close. Oh. We just need uh, a little more to push her over. Mm. And I forgot that this was an option. Ah, welcome, sir. I'll, I'll do this once. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare to say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, no. Damn it, that was actually No, good. no, not at all, sir. Uh, the last one, I mean. Yeah. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the, water, the gate waters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with the murder. I, too, will become famous. The bell boy who bought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror. Hiding place of the murderer's wire attack. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy is serious. I don't believe it. Nice weather again today. I can see the Fay and Co. Law Office, of course. Ah, yes. We plan to install our telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars for only three minutes of a view to kill. Ugh. Just kidding, sir. Oh, 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 oh. 
by that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. I clicked on the window. A bottle and, and two glasses rest on the table. Why doesn't he clean these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. But if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the day four. I call it the last trick. Before murder, we'll be famous. The talk of the hotel industry. Why is this the, the bed that they sat the murderer lie down before a murder? A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye catching here. So he made the bed, but didn't clean up the dirty glass. The painting of murder. I looked at this naked woman painting before doing a murder. Ah, a still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. Uh. Mm. Flowers that smell. A vase, as expected. Flowers that smell before committing a murder. I'm not good with flower names, except maybe tulips and sunflowers. It's called murder. Murder by the pen. Murdered by its beauty. It was beauty who killed the beast? These roses have more than just thorns. They're murder. There were words in there have been spoken. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir. <clears throat> Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. It struck me as a real... Lady killer, if you are part of the extreme I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There, there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. You had a photo of that man. Quite sure I can identify him. A photo. Hmm. Go to court record. Oh, I thought you were gonna. You walk in on his face. Like this one? I thought you were gonna talk about the hotel first. Take oh. a look at this photo. We'll do that one last. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How, how about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about it. Really? Yeah. Maybe both. Well, sure, why not? Yes! I always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. But henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Not even Miss May can play down to this. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. I know that subject. I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? Gatewater Hotel. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. Okay, bye!
And don't forget to murder. Well, the affidavit. Huh. Gotta slay the competition. Oh, wait. Long, long, indistinct void envelope. I needed the other one. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. Who was, the mo who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this to the press. This info. This info to the press. What? Even though, though he shouldn't have been witness, even though he shouldn't be, have been, even though he should have been witness to the murder, your friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with this reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Man, that felt good. Great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the inf information gathering conglomerate Blue Corp. <laughs> Have you noticed the part of his name? Rex? Yeah. Red, white, blue. Yeah. Red. White? Oh. Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So, is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Hmm? It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit discarded? Yep. So, don't. Isn't that needed still? No, nah, we're good. Red White, greatest names, it's hot, cold man. <laughs> don't you mean video man? From Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Well, I was thinking of that. And Mogi Sully, the horrible ass. Ah. What's that? What? What's with the surreal decor? This definitely has to be a, a Rex voice. Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your per personage. I was thinking more, you could do more, uh, your a la carte. Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. Why is that perfect? What the? Your name, what's your name? I was just inquiring, asking the title that you go by. You said that correct, but you but mistake. I was just inquirably asking that the ti asking the title that you go by. Uh right. Phoenix right. Inquirably? <laughs> right, that's what I said, like <laughs> He makes up his own words. 
Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my... What in the... Giantesque right. vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the word wordly challenged. I strangle my words quite. I strangle my words often. But what a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to me, come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. And, uh, you're just kind of jumping in the story midway, but that's this is the painting from Grossberg's office. Hmm? Have I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but originals. That's right there is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Hmm. Basically, cute, zany, semi-decent lawyer working for my FA. Hmm. He gets murdered. His sister take her sister takes over her business, and she has like spiritual powers. Not. Nakatama and all that, but that comes into play later. Yeah. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What, what she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But, I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable... What? That's it not is... how you use that word. Yeah, it is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I suddenly pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy now. Still. Dude. Oh. Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. This is a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, ho, ho. the police, the courts. To me, they are merely they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. 
No, he's really just an information broker. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. So, information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand <laughs> office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. You don't say. I, Red, White, and Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Absolutely amazing. Super color frigid. Uh, there's something that's been bothering. Yes, what might that be? A big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You know, I... Oh. You know, I've, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Or, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer. No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing, zilch, zibo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney. Grody Burger. What? Ugh. Uh, Oof. Sounds of being uh, beat up. Uh, he punched me in the dick. Why? Why did he punch me in the dick? <laughs> if you say hit him really hard, I swear to God, I will hit you in the dick. I'm stuck in the volumes. Hey, uh, Bailiff. Grab that man's pee pee! <laughs> Grab the stones! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, huh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they will do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that this kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossberg's... That's Mr. Oh. Grossberg's? Yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. I'm bored and I have a boner. It's awkward. He should be here now. Huh. I don't think he noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. That we clear my throat. <clears throat> um. Don't go towards the fox. Oh, you. That's it. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing how yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering me. That much is clear. So, you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night. I'm slowly slipping into Sean Connery. You see, I couldn't get a wink of sleep last Wink of sleep. Really? Why was that? Well, you see... 
It's just me, sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks. Truly. I don't know what I would have what what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Alright, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. Hmm. It does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. So, I played Blue for a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something that has been bothering me. Oh, what is... Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intentions of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you notice, I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, and I know what what it is. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail, perhaps? Oh. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. Maybe the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest, son. So I finally rest easy again. After all, you were my understudy. Perhaps this is it. it was fate. What is he talking about? Red White's the man who lives with the infantry. Who makes his living food innovations. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. What you have suspected. I could not stand it in front of my because of this. White would have destroyed me if I had. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. Arresting Red White would be nigh impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is the DL6 incident? The all six is nothing more than a sword in court. The police gave a case. Fifteen years ago now, I received a request from a medium, Spear. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay? Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. Did all I could for her 
then we have nothing clear to wrong doing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is a DL6 incident. Well, why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want to know. They didn't want people to know that we were using our media. Couldn't let people know. One person found out. I told him. You told the boy? He offered me witches. It's an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked to the police from my far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it. He came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. Hmm. I see. What controls the law of this country as he sees fit? Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a closer look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Oh, I, now I see. It's funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Crazy. I was crazy once, till they put me in a room. A room full of spiders. The spiders <laughs> made me crazy. Maybe I should have another look, given what Grossberg said. All the cases Chief ever worked on are here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? It's called DL6, so A through I. Let's see if there's an A record. In the file that catches my eye. Ah, ah. That was A funny. F. Misty Faye, that's Maya's mother. Mia and Maya. Mia and Maya's mother. Huh, should I take a look? I have tarnished the Faye's name, leaving only these words My mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the powers that run in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who, who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold the information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm? The record stops there. Hmm. So Maya knew Grossberg. You say Maya when it says me all the time. People love pain, so feel free to smack me in the back of the head if I say it wrong again. Let's see, J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim through through some of this. Yes. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here end in as suicide view. She had a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to 
I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Thank god we can't read that. Wait, what about J through Z? I think we found the, uh, the most important stuff. T through T, U, oh, I know, W, flight. The entire W section is missing. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Was it taken? So. I hope you're enjoying our let's play of uh, Phoenix Wright. Next, we're doing Dank and Ropa. Actually. <laughs> well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. I'm in Marvel vs. Capcom games. You can't do shit to me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Okay, but what if I rub this newspaper clipping against your face? This is the only clue that Maya left me. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that Mia left me. Correct. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this. This article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Yeah, I just had an idea. You got it right. <laughs> Alright then. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know you did this to this politician. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were the one involved in all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it, it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. Yo! You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She, she was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all those, all the documents you mis about you mysteriously disappeared. 
So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, is that you? We're... What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And this, as a very important witness, and thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other, th one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those... Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you. I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I... I feel faint. Detective Gomsu, reporting, sir! Ah, butts! Harry butts! Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. And my friend is named Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? De Detective Gumshoe. I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. W what? Take this despicable human being into custody. I feel like Gumshoe's himbo powers should make him immune to White's control, but you never know. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. February 8, 7 p.m. Sense Center Visitors Room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set, set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had, I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ah, now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean, you... I explained what had happened to Maya. Mm. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, 
my sister. Now you? It's gone too far. Mr. White, please tell me. Is there anything I can do? Um, well... Don't. I'll go for the real one. Well, you can cheer... Cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Wait, I already have the outfit. <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah, like that. Oh wait, leave it to me. Huh? I better go get a uniform and some pom poms. Now, how short do you want the skirt? Oh dear. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But I can't sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Don't honey badger the witness. Times may change with... Yet with crime, it's the same old story. I'll be whatever badger, whatever rodent I feel like. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy courts perceive things are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on it on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. In California. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for the for this case. With the true corporate appearing as the star witness. Culprit. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. To be continued. Mohaha. <laughs>